Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics. I was going to do another video explaining why MMT is voodoo economics and why they cannot print value for a currency, but instead we have this Trump stuff. So, uh, you know, we'll talk about the markets instead. But before I do that, I am launching a new subscription. It's a very simple subscription. It is a recession and bottom actions alerts. And uh, it's for those people who are passive investors that just want to know when the recession starts and when the recession ends. Okay. For 10 years, everybody and their mom has been calling for a recession, whether it be the uh, credit downgrade or QE1 or QE2 or QE3 or oil, peak oil, or when the Fed starts raising rates and blow off tops and the great unwinding. And, you know, the Fed has the pedals backwards and it's just, <laughs> it's an endless uh, barrage of the word recession that has literally lost its meaning anymore. I mean, you know, everybody's just saying that every day so they can say, oh, look, I, I predicted the recession. Well, the fact is I've never used the word once in the last 10 years and, um, you know, why is that? Well, that's because I don't know what the future is, and I rely on math, facts, and data of the fundamentals. And it's just that simple. Not more complicated than that. So, um, if you want a nice little insurance, okay, it's for $120 a year, uh, I will let you know when the recession uh, really does actually come based on fundamentals. Along with the subscription, I'm also going to give you uh, the book, The National Debit, from my friend Edward Delzio, the author. I'm going to give you uh, periodic uh, videos that are going to be from my uh, main subscription service, Real Macroeconomics and Investing. And I'm also going to give you some basic videos that are uh, paid videos that explain how an economy uh actually works in the real world in the 21st century and we I build it from scratch and it's a very good um, uh, learning lesson for you all to really start to understand macroeconomics so come on down to patreon.com slash real macro and subscribe just ten dollars a month okay patreon.com slash real macro all right so let's get started so what's going on in the market is it because Trump came out and it's going to put uh, tariffs from 10% to 25% on $200 billion? Or is it that he blindsided the market? Or is it because we've been in a raging bull market since the beginning of the year and just ripped the shorts to shreds? Okay, the bear shitters, the America's in decline every single day crowd has been completely obliterated and now the market says okay you know what we're at all-time highs we broke them broke the all-time highs here we're at all-time highs holding on we have this structure right in here okay that needs to correct it does this structure needs to correct that's what it's about okay has nothing to do with trump yeah okay trump is the catalyst whatever those are cute little stories i don't subscribe to those things uh in fact i was telling my subscribers way before trump said anything that you know what eventually we're going to test the top and then we're going to correct because we're in a sideways market okay now it's happening so you know did i know what trump was going to say i had no clue no idea just like i said you should be buying this okay I thought it, I thought it was going to bottom out here. It didn't. It had another wave down, right? Where did where did the price go? All the way up here. Okay, it's kind of the same thing here. It's got nothing to do with Trump. I'm telling you. Okay, it has to do with the technicals of the market. It has to do with you know global global growth slowing within you know this long economic expansion. Okay, it's a normal cycle within a cycle. Um, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean the market is over. It doesn't mean, you know, we're going to crash and recession is coming and so on. So, um, 
you know, let's see now. We need to see follow through, obviously, okay, um, from here. But um, for now, uh, we're we're bearish, okay, at previous highs. They can literally do one of these small little psych moves down and then take off, right? They can take off now. They can do whatever it wants. Uh, again, I don't have a crystal ball, but we do want to see this um, this structure start to correct. Right, and then it will give us the next uh, setup for a buying opportunity. Let's take a look at uh, what happened in China. China poof, completely lost it. And uh, I thought we were going to get one more up here. Okay, we broke this uh, structure down. And my mouse sucks, by the way. Um, we broke that structure. I was looking for one more up and then maybe start to fall. Instead, it, it just started to fall apart. Now, that's fine. Uh, broke this previous support area. It's multiple supports, right? And just boom, down 6%. It's like, ugh, God, you guys are novices. You don't know what the hell you're doing. It's just <sighs> painful to watch, painful. But, uh, you know, that, you know, these people are back in 1920, okay? They have no experience. They're, they're just like, you know, Ameritrade traders, you know? The market is going up, buy, buy, buy. The market starts going down, sell, sell, sell. <laughs> Short, short, short. Yeah, they just react to shit. Uh, they don't know what the hell they're doing. So of course you're gonna get this kind of a reaction uh, from the market in the U.S. Same thing with fags. Okay, um, they came up, tested the previous highs, and now they're having difficulties. Well, okay. Did anybody expect anything else? Right. Um, again, it doesn't have a lot to do with Trump. If if there was anything I would say to Trump. And I would caution would be don't fuck around with the market too much. <laughs> don't don't blindside them too much because then they're going to start freaking out. OK, and they're going to start pricing in these risks and the market is going to start coming down. OK, uh, so don't don't play with them too much. Don't get too overconfident is what I'm trying to say. Here's another perfect example uh, of, of a structure that I needed to correct, which was this. And if you guys remember, it was an all-important 3% area. Oh, look, you know, the market, the 10-year uh, the interest rate is above 3%. It crossed the line. It's going higher. Uh, ooh, right? Remember, these people, they don't know what they're talking about. Remember how MMT was telling you that, oh, the Fed has the pedals backwards. They're causing infl inflation by raising interest rates. Ooh, yeah. Well, what happened? That that was selling really good back here. They were selling that shit like hotcakes. He was like, yeah, oh, yeah, the Fed is an idiot, right? And I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not the way it works, okay? It, interest rates are going to come down. But does anybody remember me saying that? No. Okay, so where are they now? 2.49. What happened to stagflation, inflation? The Fed has it backwards. Yeah. Crap. What happened to the inverted yield curve? Oh, we had the inverted yield curve. Oh, we're going into a recession. <laughs> uh, it's, it's so easy. It's so easy when, when you know what to look for in clowns. These people are clowns. That's what they are. Don't listen to them. They're all going to sell you that they have this crystal ball. Oh, my fiscal uh, flows. I've been looking at my fiscal flows. And the market's going higher. And I know it. And you'll see. <laughs> Clowns. Nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody knows what tomorrow's going to bring. Nobody. 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 They're just selling you. Okay? It's all bullshit. Um, taking a look at the um, oil. Okay, started to correct. That's fine. Again, this is a correction from this move. Nothing wrong with that. And once again, you're going to look at the, the structure, and it's the sim very similar. Okay, so this is this is normal. This is very repetitive. And with my last 30 seconds, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Look at that. I love the way my mouse works. Anyway, we had the thrust up, and now it's going into this uh, F-flag structure, which should go all the way up and continue so long as it's within this structure. Okay? So that's it, guys. Um, not much more to say. Just uh, buckle in. Might get a little volatile. 
no no big deal. Take care. Talk to you soon.